Hello, I'm back. Yes, welcome to another video. My voice sounded a little bit- well, it sounded a little bit funny because I'm currently sick, but yeah, who cares, womp womp. Now you might, um, basically, um, guess the title of this video, and we're going to be showing you how to basically RT people in multi-career tank simulator, and it's actually really simple. So, let's basically begin. So, this is our BM21, or modern Katusha, whatever you want to call it. And we're currently flying towards B. Now, let me give you a um, background story. So, these are basically these bullies that took my son's lunch money. I don't know what they did with it, but they really hurt him. And this bully is this little car right here, or the, or the Tiger. Basically, the Russian um, Humvee. Now, the, the, we, we want to kill this guy. We want to kill these, or at least give them a concussion. Or mild headache. Now, for those who are wondering, um, basically, we will be using a website or whatever. But I'll get to that or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, let's go to G5. We are currently at G5. Alright. Let me just unfly myself. Now, here's the first things. Okay. First things first, you want to get your artillery piece into a level position. This is quite level. I wouldn't really say it's 100%, but who cares. Second of all, you want to get into the commander's seat, but since this tank is wrong panel, since this is a solo tank, as I'm using admin commands, don't tell anyone. Um, let me just close that, because... Can I close this, please? Please? Can I? Thank you. But for references, you'll be using the commander's seat. Now, of course, when you're in here, now every single artillery piece would be different towards the scope. Now let's just get straight into it. So this is what you'll be basically using today. A um, artillery piece, or really an artillery calculator. Now, this is 100% really useful. I've currently set it up, but let's just get straight into the point. Ignore that there. So, let's just say that you're at C and you want to attack A. So, generally, the red markers or red and blue doesn't really matter. But what you want to do, right-click is to move red and left-click is to move blue. Let's say that you're at C and you're at A. And it'll basically give you a bunch of measurements. Now, before you actually start calculating or actually doing whatever you want, you need the right map. Now, everything is set here, but let's give an example. We are currently at the um, map here, and we're at zone 11. Now, generally, they have a whole list of maps that you're going to use, such as Arctic Base, Dust Bowl, and generally, each of them have different um, sizes. Now, we're doing zone 11. So, this is basically what you need. So, first of, first of all... You want to identify your location. We're at the top right corner of G5. And we want to attack the middle, middle side of D5. So first things first. Let's just put the red one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will be our blue corner. around Right around here. And uh, we will attack the bully at here. So here we go. Once when you have the right measurements, what you want to do, you want to set up the vehicle. Now, of course, I have the vehicle set up, but you basically have from the T-34 Calope to the Hell Cannon, including our beloved Sturm Tigger. Now, it also has different rounds, depending what round you're using. Some of them have, like, one round, including this, BM-21, and the Sturm Tigger, including this as well. But we are using the, the Grad. This is basically this, the elevation and azimuth. This is what you need. This is basically really, really useful. Now, basically what you want to do, you want to go in here and you basically want to exactly line the azimuth. So that says 262.83 degrees. Azimuths is basically left and right, 262.83. Now, generally, depending on, especially this one, the the modern Katusha, the BM-21, you have to aim the scope a bit to the right. Now, the most important part is the elevation. You need it at around 27.70 degrees or at around 62.30. 
let's just set it to around, uh, let's see. Let's just set it to around um, 27.70. Alright, now let me explain why you have to set it to a low number. Generally, some artillery pieces can't go over like a certain number, like 68, 70 or something. Especially stack tanks like the Sturm Tigger, and you basically want to exactly measure where you are. So, congratulations, you have everything set up now, just far. Congratulations, you have now basically con made the bullies burn in hell, just like they deserve to, for stealing your son's lunch money. They could just basically rain down rockets, but who cares? There we go. There we go, they deserve them. That is basically how you properly use artillery within the range. Get out, thanks.